when you teach, do you do you refer to your own works? Mm. Yeah. I, I not very often. I feel self conscious referring to my own work, but the book that I've just finished is a book about writing. Mm -hmm. So I've already found myself as I'm teaching. A student will ask a question about, say, um, betrayal in writing memoir. The question yes. of the question of a good question. Uh, very good question and one that everyone, not even, not just memoirists, but fiction writers as well, struggles mm -hmm. with and. And I'll think, well, you know what? Actually, I could answer that, or I have the perfect three pages Absolutely. that I can to use that it I now can, yes. and share it with the wider audience. Because it's audience. truly the distillation of everything that I've thought about for twenty years. Yes. So, in the case of, of of my new book, still writing, I do think that I will be using it as a teaching tool. But I think hopefully other people will use it as a teaching tool as well, because yes. it's about writing. I so that's use, coming I, out in October, that's coming out in October twenty thirteen, and yes. that grew out of your blog on writing. Yes. And the blog is at dannyshapiro.com? At my website, dannyshapiro.com, and um, yes. So um, when someone came to you and said, would you write us a book based on this, that was easy for you to say yes to? Well, it was interesting. People kept assuming that I was planning the book. The book. Mm. And I would get emails from fellow writers of every stripe. I would get emails from really well-known writers and emails from beginning writers and they would always say the same thing which was thank you this is what I needed today oh, again really? and again and again really? that language again and again yes and then I started getting these emails from writers saying I hope you're doing a book or I assume you're doing a book and I had never considered doing a book the only reason why I was writing the blog was because publishing wisdom dictates yes. that writers should have blogs and when Publishing Wisdom dictated that to me a number of years earlier. I thought, what can I blog about yes. that is not going to make me want to shoot myself? <laughs> <laughs> that could be useful to you also. Yes, and it's not like you can this, learn you know, this blogging. morning I had orange juice for breakfast yes. and I'm wearing these pajamas. You know, yes. Yes. But something that would be useful to me and to others and that would be a well that would be bottomless. A resource. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's a fabulous thing. I think it's interesting that the internet actually, even though we say computers isolate us, at the same time we can automate that which feeds us. Very much so. Yes. I mean, I think the internet at its best is the most extraordinary. It, it's, I think, you know, we are in a time of transition and so many mm. of us, it's sort of like, I mean, I remember when I was about 20 and I was dating very much the wrong man and he um, uh, drove a Ferrari and he um, taught me how to it drive. doesn't make him wrong. No, not, not at all, not at all, no. It could have been very right, but it was very wrong. Um, but he uh, taught me how to drive a stick shift on this Ferrari, and it was wow. The he most, must have loved you. Uh, the, <laughs> but the most ridiculous thing, I guess, the reason why that just came to mind is partly because of the apple martini, <laughs> and partly because the internet can be like a twenty-year-old who doesn't know how to drive a stick shift with a Ferrari, or <laughs> or driving a Ferrari can be a really fantastic thing. That's brilliant. I love that.